This is Twit. Yesterday, yeah. the end of the line for Windows 7. It's uh, endings and new beginnings. Yep. It's actually <laughs> a lucky thing that they had that last patch Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Oh, Why? but wait, they didn't fix the crypto bug right. on Windows right. 7. Oh, no. oh, wait. Well, what are they going to do? It's almost like they invented a zero day just to prevent, you know, to get people <laughs> to upgrade, you know, a day one or something. I, but did, I hope that. Is, so I, I know very little about this, but didn't Windows 7 not need that no, patch? all versions of Windows needed that patch. I saw Windows 10, Windows Server 2016, yeah. and 2019, so and that was it. The was in Crypt32 DLL, which is in all versions of Windows. It's what's used to sign certificates, and the threat, okay, one of them... One of the threats is that uh, you could f forge a certificate. So you could say, yeah, actually, he, yeah, I just wrote window, Microsoft Word. Here, have a copy. And it could be I signed. Do, I need to forge a certificate for my app. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so this was an important patch. In fact, it was the NSA that discovered right. it. Yeah. Told, yeah. told. I think they told Microsoft, I hope they told Microsoft months ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. They'll yeah, probably then, scroll around in that back door that they, everyone knows they have. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't new, start that rumor I again. Learned a new, no, I learned a new term <laughs> called NOBUS. NOBUS. And this is a NOBUS, N-O-B-U-S. It's, it's an acronym or a kind of a, not an acronym, it's a squishonym that uh, the NSA uses for an exploit that's so hard to take advantage of that nobody but us can oh. use it. And they don't patch, they don't tell people about NOBUS. Right. Mm. Uh, Michael Hayden, the former head of the uh, NSA, said, look, if it's going to take four acres of supercomputers to, you know, take advantage of this exploit, we don't bother getting it fixed. We, it's good for us. Because <laughs> we got four acres of supercomputers. Yeah, a yeah, few companies have that scale of uh, So there's this doctrine of power. no bus flaws. This was mm. not a no bus flaw. This is a mm. kind of a serious okay. issue, which is patched in 10, right? But Yep. Well, I mean, if uh, th there's no excuse not to patch it in seven if it is vulnerable, right. and also eight exactly. one, right? Uh, they should yep. be patching every. I'll have to look at the NSA Windows. bulletin, but I think that uh, my memory is they said it would be in all versions of Windows, and because it, mm. it's Crypt thirty two DLL, right. which I think everybody, every all the crypto processes, including BitLocker and certificates, use. So it, when when we started our day yesterday knowing it was the last day windows 7 would get patches when i heard there were a lot of rumors going around about nsa press conference and this and that and i'm like oh man are you kidding like the, the is there going to be something incredible. right yeah. is there going to be something where they say yep. okay we're patching windows 7 one last time and this is why you need to upgrade right that that was my guess of how if that was yep, what it too. was they would have positioned it right so uh, Brian Krebs said that they, w what happened, it was revealed to Microsoft. Microsoft fixed it. They quietly shipped fixes to the military yeah. okay. and other high-value customers and targets that manage key internet infrastructure. And then they, and that's, uh, that's what kept anybody from saying anything until January 14th when it was, you know, Patch Tuesday yesterday when it was patched. Surprised Google else. did just reveal it 120 days ago like they usually do. <laughs> Google has, by the way, settled on 90 days. They said it's going to be 90, 90 days. days yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Crypt32 DLL was introduced into Windows 20 years ago in NT4.0. <laughs> XP <laughs> is vulnerable. Uh, sure. 7 is vulnerable. Wow. Well, according to Krebs. So okay, well, surprised it stands true. to reason they would patch it then, even though yeah. Windows, because Windows exactly. 7 is still going to be in use. Hmm. That's what I would say, too. Well, wait a minute now. According to the NSA, the problem exists in Windows 10 and Windows Server 2016, which was patched. Okay. Um, it's possible this component was updated over time, right? So that would explain mm. Yeah. Mm. why older versions don't need it. Microsoft says no active exploitations have been seen to date. Mm -hmm. uh, it's unclear. It's unclear. I mean... It would be suicide for them not to have patch seven with yeah. this if it, right? That 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 yep. wouldn't even make sense. No. <laughs> it would be like crazy because yesterday was the last patch. It's like for right. seven. Bye bye right? and oh hey we left well, a we little something yeah, for sorry. you. <laughs> Here's a little uh, Windows 10 upgrade offer you might want to take advantage of. <laughs> 
No, and you know what? If they hadn't done that, and everybody knew this was the last day. Don't you think there'd be this gigantic outcry? Well, I, look, like, I, we have to right? kind of describe it this way because it is the last day officially. But Microsoft patched XP a couple of times. Um, right. They will, of well, course, do it. If this was some rampant internet yeah. attack, of course, they would uh, ship a patch. So that's why I'm yeah. keeping that Windows 7 thing going. I can't wait is to see why? the next update. <laughs> see what happens. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think it must be that it only affects because it's yes. using, it's a it's a flaw in the ECC, the elliptic curve crypto. So maybe those earlier versions of Windows didn't even that's a have that yeah right. have, it's a relatively yeah. new. Um, that's my guess, just my uneducated guess. Yeah, Left has to be Gibson. Did you say educated? <laughs> Ed so you said I said edge. uneducated. Ed <laughs> you mean creducated? <laughs> Creducated. Creducated. Nice. <laughs> We're going to drop a creducation bomb. I'm looking at uh, Microsoft CVE entry, and it does not mention any other versions of Windows. They just yeah. mention the patches. Okay. But they don't say it doesn't affect, they don't say what it affects one way or the other. It so. would be incredibly well, irresponsible would, to patch one version of Windows, you know, right? I mean, because, I, that makes more because sense. Because there's still like 30% of Windows users, 25, 30% yep. using Windows 7, including some of the biggest enterprises, right? And then yep. they don't patch it. And it doesn't matter how you count. That's hundreds of millions of people. I mean, right. no matter, yeah. you know, no matter what the number is. Yeah. 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 It, it, they don't say ex explicitly it only affects these versions, but that's all they patched. And they don't mm. imply that it affected any other versions. Yeah. So right. if you really want to know something, ask Edward Snowden. <laughs> <laughs> We'll call him up. We're right getting now. to the point where his information's a little out of date. He's though, out of date now. Yeah, he's only. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, I know what Putin tells like me. Like asking Wozniak for some information <laughs> about like Mac internals. It's like I, you know. Oh gosh. I don't know. I hope it's patched. <laughs> um, as far as we know, the upgrade, the free upgrade, continues, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Today yes. is the silence. Day. No one's talking about it. Free upgrade that right. everyone can use. Yeah. <laughs> uh, today's the day that you'll see a big pop up on your Windows 7 machine saying. Yep. I saw it this morning. Did you? Beautiful. You did? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So only on non domain joined and machines in. Uh, uh, actually, I could be. Is right? that. Are you sure about that? They told me that. They said it will not appear on domain joined machines or machines I in kiosk it, mode. Kiosk mode. Okay. I, I think it might appear on domain joined machines mm -hmm. that aren't part of that extended service program. Mm -hmm. But I. Where did I see that? They told me no, but yeah. Do you right. hear from anybody who says, I, I just love Windows 7. I'm not going to move to 10. Yeah. Um, I'm yes. one of those people, Leo. <laughs> and I got to say. <laughs> no. um, well, you know who used to say that? Steve Gibson. And he even has, has bowed to the inevitable. He upgraded. Well, yeah. So for the past two or three weeks, I've been using Windows 7. And I love it. And I have to say. <laughs> This is the last version of Windows that was created before any of the mobile nonsense, yep, yep. and it, it, it has a, a purity to it that I really appreciate. Um, it reminds me of the Mac in some ways in that it's kind of a minimalist system and there's not a bunch of junk in your face, mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. I always said it was the best version of Windows they ever yeah. had. Yeah, the most popular, uh, I would say, so far. Um, but, you know, it's irresponsible to think that you're going to run this thing over a period of time. Um, and I understand wanting to, I, that I completely understand. Yeah. Um, windows seven users have not been served by any meaningful feature updates ever. You know, um, there was one service pack that came out in 2011 that didn't really have much in the way of features. And that was kind of the end of that. But let's face it, this NSA thing or whatever, there's going to be a zero day. There are hundreds of millions of people using this thing it is absolutely going to be a target. And so you can yep. do um, yourself a favor by using a modern browser that will help in some ways using uh, AV, obviously. But eventually, this this thing is going to be exploited and, and mm -hmm. it's it's a ticking time bomb. It's unfortunate because it's it still feels very modern to me. Mm. There's also, um, for enterprises, some compliance concerns too. Like if you're running a yeah. browser that's no longer supported, like say you're not getting right. extended security updates, right? And somebody says, oh, well, you know, we're, you're going to supply something for us. What version of Windows are you using? And you say seven. Yep. It's like, um, <laughs> you know. That was the thing for people who were sticking with XP. That was when it finally, you know, they really had to change. It was when the browsers stopped mm -hmm. updating, right? When you're not, and, you know, and that, Took two years, by the way. 
Um, yeah. yeah, which that is was, kind of interesting. That was the kiss uh, of death. So we'll see how right. long it lasts for seven. I, it, it's going to be based on usage. If the numbers remain high. And also high, what Chrome and, does. What Google does yeah, with but I mean, Chrome. Yeah, because everybody's based of, on Chrome now, right? <laughs> well, well, okay, fair enough. Actually, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Well, Firefox, we should look at Firefox too. Yeah. Right? yeah. Has um, Firefox It's a said, big user base. Um, I don't I, know if Firefox I feel like said, they lasted so, the longest with XP. Hmm. Google just said till July 2021 they oh, will support. Well, it said at least Chrome until on. July 2021. Until, right? Oh, so, right, until at least. Yeah, they could yeah. go up. Last time around, like I said, you know, with uh, Windows XP, they they went two years. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. And Microsoft won't say about uh, Credge. They like it came out for yeah. Windows 7 today in final form, and they are, they say yes, we're supporting it on Windows 7. But when you say how long, they say no comment. So. Right. <laughs> Did they say um, it, what about Security Essentials? Because if you can get that. Yeah, yeah, that still works. It so does. That's interesting. So they're going to update yep. but again that. for how long? We they're not saying. Right. right. And by the way, yeah. of course they're not saying because you don't want they right. don't want to give any indication. Oh, you got all the time this in thing the world. Will be, it will no be you know, supported <laughs> for a year or two years or whatever. Right. Um, right. That's why they right. probably aren't being very explicit about this crypto problem on seven. They'd like oh, wait, to imply so that you we've need got some we've got some reader uh, comment on that now. Brian okay. in Pittsburgh said Windows Seven never apparently supported the ability to supply ECC parameters. Right, that would make sense, and that's okay. why the, the implication is that's why new. it didn't need to be patched. Yeah. Krebs, on the other hand, says it's. I mean, that's the thing; it's confusing to me. Uh, Brian. Yeah says that this component's been part of Windows for 20 years, but you're right. If it's just the ECC so I, thing, that's relative. I don't right. remember this, but Mike, uh, in reading that um, uh, security bulletin, but Microsoft usually is very explicit um, when they explain right. which versions are affected or they not. Like they will this. say Windows 7 and Windows 8.x are not affected, therefore they, they don't need not, that. Like they, they usually say that. They omitted that, that. Mm. Yeah. which I find intriguing. 